Right here. I'm with the kicker. Hey, we're with the kicker. We're the yeah. kicker. Over here, we're with the kicker. <laughs> you know, Matt, he's the same guy every day. Very consistent human being. He's very level-headed, highly intelligent guy. You can feel that when you're talking to him. And he's got a, a sense of humor that's sneaky. You know, he's gonna sneak up on you. Sometimes you gotta look at him and, are you messing with me right now? And you've got a hit on it. There's a lot of personalities on your special teams unit. So can you just talk a little bit more about what he brings to that unit? Sure, well, we've got the full range, you know, between Mac Loudermilk, you know, and, and Caleb Perez. But then you kind of have the other end of the spectrum with Matt. Uh, he balances it out, his calm demeanor, and it brings a, a good yin to the yang for the room. He's, you know, quiet guy, very, you know, to himself sometimes. People may not see him, you know, talking a whole lot or this or that, but he's just very, you know, hardworking guy and he likes to lead by example in a way. So when you have that type of person around, especially with our tight-knit group of being a specialist group, you have to have that every once in a while to, you know, lead the younger guys to show them exactly what needs to be done. And who better to lead the room than an Order of Pegasus recipient, the most prestigious honor UCF can bestow on a student. He's an aerospace engineer major. That's pretty tough. Can you just talk about how, since you see him at home, just how he balances his time between football versus also doing the work study and all he has to do for school? Well, he does a great job at it, obviously with our schedule being so hectic as it is with football and we're traveling in season and things of that nature. He knows how to balance it very well when he goes to, as soon as he leaves practice, goes to lunch. After lunch, he goes home, changes his clothes and goes over to Lockheed Martin for a few hours, then comes back for a meeting in the afternoon or special teams meeting. So he knows how to balance it very well and being how smart that he is, he can make it happen. And uh, he dedicates the hours to, to putting that stuff together and doing what he does and doing very well at it. And so everything that he has this far is very deserving. As Thursday approaches, many guys on the team are looking forward to the unique experience the space game brings. Throughout our whole schedule, you know, we have certain games that are dedicated to a certain topic, but having one like this, being close to home, Kennedy Space Center's right up the road. It's very interesting and we're pretty psyched about it as a team, you know, to have something new as far as what we're wearing out on the field. But with Matt, uh, he's also, he loves that type of stuff. He's a nerd when it comes to NASA and just being at Kennedy Space Center and just being an astronaut in general, that type of environment. He, likes a lot so I joke about it with him a lot saying that's his night uh, to dedicate something like that to him wearing the you know the moon logo on the helmet last year was pretty cool and he liked it a lot too he even has the uh, the UCF logo that from that game on his you know Yeti cup he likes to have that type of stuff around while Wright's been dedicated to aerospace he's also been dedicated to his college football career becoming the all-time leader in points scored in UCF football history you know, it speaks to the consistency of the human being, right? That he's not only doing it this year and last year, but he's been doing it forever. You don't get to be number one at something right, as a flash in the pan, you know? And he didn't just suddenly become that in like a six or eight week stretch. It talks about the guy's work ethic. Um, it also talks about maybe some people before him that showed him how to do it the right way. Just speaks uh, on all facets of the young man and, and the type of guy he is. Speaking of kicking the ball, do you ever give him a hard time like, these are the aerodynamics to kicking <laughs> the ball the right way. You know what's funny? The kid hasn't missed two kicks in a row, back-to-back. Uh, -back. He, hasn't, he hasn't missed two in a row. So when we had that one at Memphis, he hits off the crossbar, doesn't count. We knew, he, you know, I was like, shoot, we're in good shape, right? We're in practice, it's the same way. But when he misses a ball, you know, well, hey, Matt, let's look at that. What, what do you think happened? Yeah, I don't know, coach, I just missed that thing. Well, what, what do you think you're, I don't know, I just didn't, didn't hit it. You know, why not, you know, let's, let's do it again. Bang, okay, it's good, don't worry about why, right? Now we go back and watch the video and we talk about different things, but the dude knows how to kick it. He's not gonna get into the math of it though. I don't think he's gonna get in and talk about angles and uh, whatever, you know, velocity and, and any of that type of stuff. Um, he's not gonna talk about how humidity affects it or the wind. Uh, he's gonna say, I put my foot here, I try to do this with my hips and I try to swing through and, you know, if, if Mac does his job well and I do my job well, it's going to go through the upright. So you're going to get some of that. There's going to be some pressure on you to show your, your, your natural ability there, Sam. All right, so I got Matt Wright with me. Coach Toth has little faith that you're going to be able to teach me the aerodynamics of kicking a football. What, what do you think? I think we can make it happen. we got a little time here. We'll figure it out. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we have a pretty great holder for us. Mac Loudermilk. Best in the country right there. <laughs> Best duo right here to help teach me the aerodynamics of kicking a football. So Matt, what do we do first? What do we do first? Well, we got to set it up. 
You pretend the balls are there on that. Pretend it's here. Just three steps back. I like to start with my right. One, two, three. Two to the left. One, okay. two. Then you want to make sure that you're lined up correctly, looking at the ball, looking at Mac, make sure everything's in line. So let's see the aerodynamics of what you're <laughs> going to be doing during the space game while you're rocking some crazy uniforms. You just, <laughs> just kind of wing it and hope it goes in. You kind of wing it and hope it goes in? That's what I do every Saturday. What is your dream job? All right, to be an astronaut, but like... And, and to do what? Go to Mars. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be really cool. You old? I'm like sweating, getting nervous now. Can you get this? Three back. Oh, I go back first. Yeah. Okay. Three back. One, two, three. Have you never watched a field goal? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pressure. All right, and then one, two. Oh! <laughs> Four. All right. You ready? I'm ready. personalities I talked to Coach Toth and Caleb about right there in action. High five, you guys. Good job for that one. They got me. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we did it. Good job, you guys. Oh, wait. That's not the right wait, celebration. celebration. <laughs> oh, oh. Get it going. Okay. Oh, yeah. Field goal. We did it, guys. <laughs>